Hi, my name is Gage Maverick, and I am the host of Gage TV. And I'm Robert Therion, actor, comedian, and screenwriter. No, I am Robert Therion, screenwriting comic actor. No, no, I'm I'm Robert Therion, actor, comic, you don't screenwriter. You look like Robert Therion. I look like Robert Therion. But I am Robert Therion. Oh, you are. There's more than one Robert Therion on this planet Earth, right? Yeah. No, I don't think so. I am Robert Therion. Wait a minute. You want to take this out in the ring? Let's see who the real Robert Theory yeah, is. I think we should take it to the ring. Uh-oh. Seems I've gotten myself in a bit of a pickle. Either way, Gage TV starts now. I'm gonna knock you out. Mama said knock you out. I'm gonna knock you out. All right, guys. I guess Mr. Therion did win the fight. Turns out I actually am Gage Maverick with Gage TV. See, I got a shiner right here. We went at it, but he won the battle. Certainly did. So I'm Gage Maverick with Gage TV, guys, and we've got a very special guest today. We've got an exclusive right here on Gage TV. I'm sitting right here with Robert Therion, actor, comedian, screenwriter. How are you, Robert? Fine. How are you? Thank you so much for inviting me on your show. Thank thanks, you. Thanks for being here. So let's talk a little bit about yourself. How long have you been involved in the business? Take us a little bit back for your entertainment experience. Okay. Well, I started back in 71. I came to New York to become an actor. I spent three years going to acting school, and then I did a lot of work in... New York City showcases, things like that. Um, most of my work, best work, has been in the Warriors. I was in Prince of the City, Baby It's You. Lots of chill, uh, lots of uh, theater that I've done, and I started to do a lot of more extra work in films. And then I decided, instead of waiting for my ship to come in, I ended up building it by writing this screenplay called Gloves and Roses, which is a comedy about an actor's relationship with a woman boxer. All right. So tell us a bit more about uh, other things that you've done. I understand you do impressions. You're a comedian. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I'm very good doing John Wayne. I'm doing George Patton. And um, I think what it is, it's the type of film that people like to see men and women fighting. And Patton taught us that Americans traditionally love to fight. All real Americans love the sting of battle. And they love that. They like to see the, the excitement of uh, two people fighting. George Patton, everybody. Say hello to George Patton. There he is. Nicely done there. So you mentioned also uh, John Wayne. Yes. Give us your John Wayne. Let's okay. see your John Wayne. Okay, Pilgrim, I'm going to wrestle me a grizzly and kiss me a pretty girl. <laughs> John Wayne, everybody. So can John Wayne give a shout-out to Gage TV? Let's hear how John Wayne would do a shout-out to Gage TV. I would suggest you, Pilgrim, you go watch Gage TV and watch it all the time because he's the best talk show host on this planet Earth. That's John Wayne coming back from the dead, ladies and gentlemen, doing a plug. So great. So so let's talk about the film. Okay. What inspired you to write this film? He's here, ladies and gentlemen, to talk about his new screenplay, Gloves and Roses, if you're just tuning in to Gage TV. So talk a little bit about it. What was the inspiration for the film? Well, I think what happened was that I had a dream about this bride and groom fighting on this yacht, and um, I think, well... How did they get to know each other? And I started from the beginning, and the fact that I've always been fascinated with women's boxing. And I felt that, you know, being brought up, we were taught that women were the weaker sex. And in this case, they're not. Women have taken up boxing as a way of an enhancement to give them that empowerment to go in the ring and, you know, become better than themselves. I think the women's movement had a lot to do with this. And um, I just find it sexy. And the thing is, we have more mixed matches now because there are women out there that are not only good as men, but they even hit very, very hard. They can knock men out. If you go Google, if you go on mixed matches, you will see these gorgeous women beat these guys out. And the thing is, society likes to see gorgeous women beat up guys. They love Love it. Even uh, guys like to see guys get beat up by gorgeous women, and these women are very, very good. Now take us back in time a little bit. Have you written a screenplay before? No, this is my first one. And what, what made you decide to do this particular project now? Was it was it there something specific that triggered, okay, I, it's time to write me a screenplay right now? Well, I think it, it didn't, it came, the women's boxing came out of nowhere. It was based on the fact that, you know, I've been in the business for a long time, and uh, what I'm doing is that I also want to use this as a film to show the theater, which is an biting indictment of what actors have to go through to get work. And so instead of, like I said, uh, working on this screenplay, I'm doing this uh, to bring the boat in as it is and to advance my career as an actor because I also plan to do a part in this film. And uh, a lot of people have read it, said it's a winner. Whoever's going to pick it up are going to go all the way with this. And we need more comedies right now. That's what we need. You know, the action adventure, the hero stuff. You know, we need more comedies right now. And I think for the 21st century, we need new faces. We need new ideas, you know, for the 21st century. And I believe in that. 
Okay, very good. So what? Uh, t t take us through the characters. What are, what are the characters? Who are the characters in this? Take us through the, kind of break the characters down for okay, us. Okay, well, the main character is Jonathan Longfellow, and uh, it was basically based on myself, you know, the actor that keeps plugging and plugging and plugging, doesn't get discouraged. And uh, what happens is that he gets his break by writing a play about uh, his relationship with his boxer girlfriend, and it's called Black Coffee and a Quick Pick. So he ends up getting his show picked on Broadway. He ends up now a Broadway playwright, so he can leave his day job. Sheila Meyer is the ultimate of women fighters. She reminds me of Stockard Channing, uh, who looked like Stockard Channing. And uh, it's uh, she takes up boxing. And the thing is, what she does, because they keep clashing heads, they end up having this mixed match. And she ends up knocking him out in the second round. But the thing is, it stands for the that whatever you want to do, you know, if you want to become boxing or wrestler, you can do anything. There's nothing in this world that says you can't do anything. That, you know, it's like when your hardest hit, you must not quit. And I think that's very important for people. Also, the fact that this film is about how lack of communications destroy relationships. I mean, here we are in the 21st century, and you know, people don't talk to each other. That's what ruins the relationship between Jonathan and Sheila, because they're not talking to each other. Right. Yeah. Right. You guys agree with that? Yeah. So, yeah, so that we, and we talked on the phone as we set up for this interview. You spoke highly of the message with that. Communication. Is yes. there any significance also to the color of the gloves, the color of the of color pink? Um, well, actually, um, the Everlast decided to put these gloves out. In a way, it's, um, it does, you know, women, pink is a woman's color. And the thing is, this money is go, goes for a cause to help fight women's breast cancer. And a lot of people are buying this, and they feel that women wearing pink gloves, it brings out the fact that they are women and they are good at their sport. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we're back on Gage TV. We are still here hanging out with Robert Therrien on set, and he's talking about his new film, Gloves and Roses. And he's going to talk a little bit about We're going to talk about actors and directors, and he's going to tell us a little bit about his film. So if you had your druthers, if you had you know, your budget as it was, as it is, what actors would you see playing the roles in this film? Well, I was thinking maybe Angelina Jolie and uh, Rhonda Rouser, who I think would be great for the uh, part of Sheila Meyer. Uh, in terms of uh, Jonathan Longfellow, Longfellow, I was thinking maybe Owen Wilson okay. or uh, Zach Braff, who's on Broadway now, right now doing uh, Bullets on Broadway. Okay. You know, very, more like a heroic coward, you know, a heroic, uh, you know, uh, you know a dummy. Okay. You know, and that's what I'm thinking. And in terms of directors, I'm thinking maybe either Sylvester Stallone or maybe Clint Eastwood because he already did Million Dollar Baby. So maybe and Clint Eastwood has done, he's directed comedies before. Yeah, he's doing a lot of comedies of yeah. late. Right. Okay. And, uh, so describe your picture to us. To, to those of you, wa th those watching, we like to kind of have a quick little description of the film. Mm -hmm. what, tell us about the film quick in a quick synopsis. Uh, it's about an actor's relationship with a woman boxer and about how lack of communications destroy the relationships. And it's like they keep butting heads and finally uh, the relationship almost breaks apart because, again, a lack of communications. And I think we should, you know, just focus on, you know, keeping the communications alive so relationships don't get, the, go, they don't go down the tubes. Okay, good. And, and so it's about like with Harry Met Sally with boxing gloves, okay. which is what the film is. It's a genre. It's a it's a very comic, silly movie. You know, it's a combination of uh, Monty Python. Um, very sticky, right? Very, very sticky. Yes, very uh, Monty Python, uh, Woody Allen, um, and it just we're going to go all the way with this. I feel very good about this. Once we get the right director and the right actors, you know, we're going to go all the way with this. The film is called Gloves and Roses. That's Robert Therry, and it feels like when Harry Met Sally with boxing gloves. Stay tuned, guys. This one's going to hit the big screen, and it may go all the way to the Academy Awards. That's my prediction.